it's uh, 7 a.m. Beth and I are heading to Houston and we're going to a warehouse to drop a classic car that we're towing in the back of our trailer 66 Mustang and it's going to the UK somewhere in the UK can't remember where and um, yeah and we're also picking up a car that's what's exciting about this trip rarely does that ever come together but so we're dropping a car off we'll call it the Houston area and we're picking a car up in the Houston area and it's also a Mustang it's also red just like the one we're dropping off but it has great options we're really excited to be getting that I have a lot of folks that are gonna be super interested in that one so uh, yeah come along and we've got about 12 hours in this truck probably before it's all said and done but we brought our typical food that we bring with us we've got our own coffee we got our own water that we get out of our murky and that's how we roll so we don't have to stop as often we eat and drink the things that we want to eat and drink and um, it's fun it's work but it's fun and of course the exciting part is I get to see a car that I only can hope it's as described and it's good enough for the type of car that I'm going to get involved with and that's that's what these journeys are like okay come along say a lot wraps all the way around the other side of the building as well more gas pumps and there's absolutely dozens right here yeah it's a big gas station people Bucky's I like stopping at them okay so if you're wondering if the breakfast burrito is good it's delicious actually it's got a barbecue brisket in here egg we just put some green chili sauce I opened it up for you. you can get a kind of a close picture of it and uh yeah so bucky's breakfast burritos if you're traveling and you have a chance to stop at bucky's and get a breakfast burrito i'm gonna say i recommend it what about you missy oh yeah there you go okay so that big old boy right there was sam houston and he's part of texas history one of the many famous guys from Texas history. So that puts us, let's see, in Huntsville, Texas. We've been on the road for four hours. And this is the Piney Woods section of Texas. You can see why, a lot of pine trees. And we've got a ways to go before we have our first stop, but uh, didn't take long to get here, did it? All right, let's keep going. Well, every time I stop, I've got to, well, put gas in this car. Of course, it gets 10 miles per gallon, this truck does, but it's got a heck of a motor. But then I've got to come back here and go to the front back of my trailer and make sure that the car's still strapped down good and secure. So that's what we're doing now. Got still a Mustang back here. It's a pretty cool car, in fact. I did a video on this car. I think it's titled uh, 33 Years. Um, not running, oh, Mechanical Refresh After 33 Years. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, these are both still on nice and tight, which means the front is as well, but we'll check that too. But yeah, there it is. And this car is gonna go live in the UK and the paint's not shiny, but man, it's a heck of a good car mechanically. It's been completely refreshed. It's a real sweetheart. It's got an incredible sounding exhaust. Brand new exhaust system that just sounds fantastic. In fact, all the mechanicals are brand new on this car. Yeah, this guy's gonna have a lot of fun with this car in the UK. It's always my hope that guys buy, that buy these cars will love them and um, take care of them. And let's see, we're still looking good up here. We'll double check that to make sure. Yeah, they're nice and tight, both of them. Okay, just hang in there. We'll have you at the port real soon. Okay, so we're in big old Houston, Texas. We've been in the car five hours now and I'm a little wigging out here. <laughs> 
but we'll be unloading this car at the uh, warehouse that's going to send it onto the dock for transfer it onto the UK. But there's big old Houston, Texas, another big large city. You saw just a little bit ago we came through Dallas. And uh, this is the largest city in Texas, if you didn't know that, with the largest population. Not my favorite, but uh, it's still Texas. And yeah, I love Texas. Well, we're at the warehouse where we're gonna drop the car. And uh, this is the work part of what otherwise is a fun trip. So you gotta do the work. Uh, the fun is part of it and the work's part of it. So I gotta get this car unloaded um, before I go get the other car. I hope I'm getting another car. That's the goal of this trip. All right, let's get it done. That's the work part. <laughs> Good, doesn't it? We did it. Okay, so I'm here with Javier. Javier, how long have you and I been doing business? Over 10 years. Over 10 years. So Javier has been sending these cars actually all over the world for me. And this is the warehouse location. And there's no telling what will end up in this building. You know, that's a Chrysler Airflow. I dig that. It's a five window Chevy pickup truck. Oh, TR3, I love TR3s. If you know me very good, you know I do. There's a killer mid-year Corvette. So these cars are going everywhere. Yeah. And you know, every one of these cars has a story, both in how it got here and where it will end up. I love these. This is the most motorcycle-like experience you can have in a classic car. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, TR3. They're a blast. I've owned those dozens of those over the years. Another mid-year Corvette, Mercedes. There's an old bus, VW bus over there. Just full of cars. Yeah, very interesting. So here's uh, something exotic. Not sure what this is, maybe a big old Maserati or something. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Bristol. Bristol, yeah. It's a Bristol, yeah. So have you gotten to know cars pretty good by being in this business? Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not the building mechanic. I mean, I'm not a big mechanic. I'm not a I know how many fit. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know how much they weigh and how they fit. Yeah. Another Corvette, another Corvette back there, another old Chevy truck. 1960 Chevy Biscayne, four door back there. 37 Chevrolet Ford truck. Looks like a Buick, 58 Buick back there. A cool Chrysler, that's convertible. Could be a 300. Here's a Mustang. Another old Volkswagen bus, another old Chevy. I guess those little round, those old vintage Chevrolet trucks are pretty popular. Mm -hmm. They go overseas a lot. Mm -hmm. So what are your most common cars to go overseas, Javier? Uh, Ford Mustangs, the uh, European Classics. Ford Mustang, the European Classics. Buses. The buses, VW Chevy buses. Trucks. Okay. Uh, Impala, Bel Airs. Imp Bel -Airs. Impalas and Bel Airs are popular, huh? To, to Sweden. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I, there's no caddy convertible. This right here, these two are going to uh, Singapore. Singapore, these, these two, right? the Jeep. And the Ford Railroad. Oh, yeah. I love that. So that's like my, I had a Huckster that I used to ride my grandkids around in, oh, wow. exactly like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would have bought that because, so Javier, I now have 14 grandkids. So 14? I'm, yeah, I'm in the grandkid business. Wow. And uh, yeah, antique cars and grandkids, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of VW buses. Mm -hmm. You do that. A lot of buses. Right there. 
A lot of buses. Look at this one's even got an old vintage cooler going with it. Here's a 58, looks like Cadillac. Yep, Cadillac. Uh, yeah. Same as roof. Yep, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the good one. Mm -hmm. This is the high dollar one right yep. here. Very rare, very hard to restore, very expensive to restore. You know Peter Crow? Yeah, I know Peter. Yeah, Peter sends these everywhere. Peter's, uh, he lives out there by me. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was here, oh my God. Yeah, he was here last, last week. Yeah, Pete's classic cars. Mm -hmm. Does he deliver them himself? Mm -hmm. Does he really? So nice you guy. probably know very, Peter pretty good. Oh yeah, I know Peter very, yeah, very nice guy. Yeah, an old Model A, mm -hmm. MG, MGA. Yeah, this is fun. See, I, I would uh, I would enjoy working here because I love the old cars. Yeah, for sure. I would want to know what's coming in and yeah. All right. So this is what this side of the business looks like. You know, that someone has to handle the shipping, and it's good that you know who you're dealing with because you have to put a lot of trust in them. Mm -hmm. And I trust Javier. Mm -hmm. I know Javier, he knows me. Now in person. Yeah, in person now. After all these years, this is a DeSoto. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, a, so a DeSoto Airflow. Going to France. Going to France. Yeah, now I Corvette dig that. And the other, uh, and the purple uh, for, for Model A also going to France. Going to France also? Uh, all together in the container. This is a very unusual car right here. It's very Art Deco. Even the door handles are super Art Deco. Look at that. Yeah. I love that. In fact, I love everything about this car. I don't know much about them, the old airflows, but I know there's a group of guys that are into them and that collect them, but I, I can certainly see why. It's just the best of Art Deco design coming through. And they really had some modern, some very modern... Uh, real nice. Yeah, they had a very modern um, approach to things. Car, you know, cars were still extremely vintage when these were being built. I mean, they were primitive, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yet this thing right here was... Super modern. He had headlights built into the car. That's pretty unusual for this vintage. And that grill, that's just, that's Good artwork. I tell you what, I would own that right there in a heartbeat. The Corvette? Yeah. Did you say this is going to France as yeah, well? Yeah, this one, the DeSoto uh, and Ford, one, one container. Okay, one container. We're gonna load it today. Now for me, you typically put two cars per container. Two or three, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a 40 foot container and yeah, so this is it. This is a warehouse full of mostly, well, substantially American iron. And there's obviously some German and British cars in here as well. And late model cars from auction sites. That okay. Going back, uh, going for a... Uh, Very year. cool. Very cool. Okay, so, yeah. This is... A fascinating part of the business. These guys are responsible for packaging these cars up and getting them to their destination. I see you've got motorcycles going as well. Look at this. Looks like someone's got a, mm -hmm. their work cut out for them on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's unloaded. It's great to actually meet Javier. I've been doing business with him for probably 12 years but never met him because the, sh the shipping location was always separate from the office. So we would talk by phone, but I'd never actually meet him, but they've merged the two, shipping with the office now at this location. So I got to meet Javier. So that was a, a thrill for me. And as you can see, the Mustang's sitting there, uh, ready to be loaded. And it uh, looks like a brand new Corvette is going somewhere. So yeah, they ship everything, you know, from exotic new cars to Nice old projects like that Mustang. All right, so we're gonna go off and hopefully put another Mustang in that trailer. And that's the other part of this dual purpose trip is to deliver a car and to buy a car. So let's go, let's go buy a Mustang. So you're really more of a GM guy than a Ford guy. I still think a 67, 68 uh, Fastback. Now Shelby's probably the prettiest classic though. Boy, that's a sweet looking truck right there. Okay. Yeah, I have to tell you, that is nice. Where are the 454 SS's? There's one right there. there and I, I, I got one to my cousin. It's uh, down probably a couple of miles down the road. Well, there it is. And the 
good news is it's a great car. We'll make some changes and improvements to it, but as is, it's great. Okay, so we're going to put this car up on ramps, little portable ramps, because uh, you don't buy a Mustang without looking at it underneath. That's the most critical perspective or attribute of any Mustang are the floors. So he's got some ramps, and I've got my ramps. And uh, between the two sets of ramps, we'll be able to get this thing off the ground, and I'll be able to see what's important on this car. The body is super straight. I'm loving that. And the paint's nicer than expected. That always makes me very happy. In fact, the paint's really nice. So it looks like a great car. It's got an electric fan that makes some electric fan noise, but other than that, that 289 sounds alive and strong. So we'll use his ramps, get this thing in the air, and give it the proper inspection. Yep, she's going home with me. Unless I find something scary underneath, which, based on the pictures this gentleman sent me, this is a good car. So here we go. He's coming with his ramps. So your dad knows Mustangs, and he looked at it. He don't know Mustangs. He just, you know, he's your age, so I trusted him more than okay. me. Because, you know, I never owned this is my first fastback. I realized after I bought it, the body style I like is a 67, 68. Okay. You know, I'm more of a GM guy. Now your floors are your floors are good. Fortunately, that's pretty important. We'll go look up the other side. There's there's a lot of places you've got to look at on these cars, but what I from what I can see, this is going to be a good dry car. Well, what I told you, you know, my dad said he said it was one piece of a quarter that was cut. I I don't know how to look. You know, I'm just a little that's what I'm quarter pitch. Yeah. So like I said, I wouldn't even catch it, and I still don't know what he's talking about. But you probably would. Oh yeah, I'll know. Yeah, you, this is not a rust car. This is not a rustang. This is a this is actually a good car, which I based on the pictures you sent me, I felt like it was going to be. Yeah, so if you're ever going to buy a especially a Mustang, man, if you can get it off the ground like this, take it out. Yeah, you you will know what those floors look like cuz they're, they're it's almost impossible to inspect it properly unless you get it in the air, but that's as good as you possibly can do on the ground right there. I I highly recommend going to Walmart and getting those ramps. Now, mine are race uh, race ramps. They probably cost four times what that what you've got there, but what you've got there is super effective. It allow you to look at the car, and you know that gives me confidence that it's not a rust bucket. Well, all right. The really really good news is this is a great car. Um, turns out this fellow James is his name is a very honest guy. Um, he has some really cool toys in the garage and some other toys that aren't here. But his dad's a Mustang guy and gave him some good advice when he bought this car. And he got a good car. He got lucky. He got a body that's fantastic. And by the time Tyler and I are done with it, this will be a, this will be a great little fastback. Hard to find with these options. These options are what make it special. And uh, yeah, this one, this one's special. And if you watch our videos, I think you know, we know what special is. And this is a very special car. I'll do a video on it and go into more detail on it once we get done with um, our handiwork. hours into our trip and we're coming to the, into Dallas and uh, we have, we'll have another 40 45 minutes before we get home great day had fun got a great car in the back but we're tired we're ready to be home but it will have been when it's all said and done a 15 hour round trip in which much was accomplished
I'm not a fan of those. There's a place for them, I know, but personally not a fan. It's in the building. Welcome to your new home. Well, it was really special to meet Javier. That's the guy behind the voice. He's handled my overseas shipping now for over a decade. Got the car checked in along with the goodies packed inside it. Of course, I can trust him to get it to my overseas buyer. Oh yeah, I mentioned earlier we did a video on this car. I think its performance will really surprise you. This car is the very definition of a sleeper. If you'd like to check it out, click up in the right hand corner. Now this is really cool. Just prior to making this video, I received the email below. I'll read it to you. This is from the buyer of this very car. Michael, I trust this email finds Tyler and yourself well. Car arrived today. Really superb service and it's exactly as described. I appreciated the whole process and pass on my thanks to you both. Craig, yep, that definitely makes us happy. Well, now it's time to deal with the latest purchase. You know, as always, the first thing is to get it cleaned up good enough for a thorough inspection and develop our action plan. We actually sold this one the day we got back with it. However, a lot, like a lot of cars, we upgrade them for our buyers. So at the making of this video, that's what we're doing. We're making a good car even better. Stay tuned for the test drive video of this Rangoon Red Fastback. It's not only a great car, this aluminum headed monster is a serious barn burner. Okay, adios people.